The Pittsburgh Steelers reportedly have interest in Florida quarterback Kyle Trask. We got to talk about it. Growing up as a kid, yeah. only thing I want to have was a very big scarf and three dollars in my pocket. Instead, I got beat with a switch, but I don't give a fuck, but it's on my body. Scars all up on me, but I run around from everybody. Life lesson learned, I better learn from this bitch, nobody. She pushed me around, she didn't give no motherfucks about it. She broke my heart three times. What is up, everybody? It is JT Sports. I'm back to you guys with some more NFL draft rumors. And once again, we are talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Pittsburgh Steelers reportedly, according to 93.7 The Fan, has Florida quarterback Kyle Trask rated higher on this board than one of the top five quarterback prospects in the 2021 NFL draft. Now, I don't know... If this is Mac Jones or whatnot, a lot of people most likely going to speculate that it is Mac Jones. But this isn't the first time I've heard a report about Pittsburgh having interest in Kyle Trask. As a matter of fact, I think I read something in February about Kyle Trask drawing attention from the Pittsburgh Steelers and whatnot. And I'm going to be honest with you. I like Kyle Trask. I think he is a good mid-second round selection, early third round selection. But if the Steelers were to waste one of their draft picks on Kyle Trask, I would be kind of upset, okay? Because here's the thing. A lot of people say that I overrate Mac Jones. A lot of people say Mac Jones doesn't have a strong arm. He's not that athletic, and he was carried by the town around him. Well, the same thing can be said for Kyle Trask. And as a matter of fact, Kyle Trask is probably a bigger, less athletic version than Mac Jones. Mac Jones has a little bit of mobility in his game. Just a little bit. He can pick up 10, 12 yards if need be if you give him some space. But Kyle Trask doesn't really have any mobility at all. As a matter of fact, I think if he was to run the 40, he probably would end up running a 5 flat or like a 5-1 or a 5-2 or something like that. There's nothing wrong. You get what I'm saying? Well, I think Kyle Trask could be a solid QB if he's put in the right situation. But for Pittsburgh, if you were to ask me, JT, Pittsburgh has to take a quarterback in round two or three. Which quarterback would you prefer? It would either be Kellen Mond or Jamie Newman because I want a quarterback that has some mobility in his game. I don't need a quarterback that's running a 4-4 or 4-5. I just need a quarterback who can pick up a couple of yards from time to time if things break down Kyle Trask to me is just a pure pocket passer and we've seen that a couple of times with Big Ben last year like although he has lost a lot of weight and things like that he looks really good he's really really slow he can't really pick up anything and it's really a struggle watching Big Ben run and the same thing can be said for Kyle Trask like yeah a lot of people are going to compare him to Big Ben but I don't see a lot of Big Ben in Kyle Trask like that's why I tell people every single year every time there's a big strong quarterback everybody wants to compare him to the next big ben kyle Trask doesn't have the athleticism that big ben possessed when big ben came out of miami of ohio so for me personally i would be really upset if kyle Trask was to get drafted by the pittsburgh steelers i rather see what we have in dwayne haskins or mason rudolph and whatnot and here's the thing me personally i don't want pittsburgh drafting a quarterback in the first round or any round next year, I'd rather Pittsburgh pick up a quarterback in free agency, rather that be Jameis Winston, who's playing on a one-year deal or whatnot, because Pittsburgh is going to have the most cap space in the NFL next year, depending on how the remaining of next season and, you know, this upcoming season goes and whatnot. But me personally, I'd rather Pittsburgh pick up a quarterback in free agency because the couple of past quarterbacks that Pittsburgh has picked up in the draft, such as Mason Rudolph and Landry Jones, <sighs> Landry Jones oh my god but yeah man Landry Jones Mason Rudolph I really don't trust Pittsburgh's judgment when it comes to drafting quarterbacks as of late so I mean you had Joshua Dobbs even then he hasn't really been what we thought he would be so me personally I hope Pittsburgh and this rumor with them being linked to Kyle Trask isn't true at all I hope this is just a smoke screen because I don't want to see Kyle Trask in the Pittsburgh Steelers uniform nothing against Kyle Trask I like Kyle Trask he's a awesome person awesome character on the field and whatnot I just don't want him playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers because it's like we already have enough quarterbacks on the roster as it is we got Dwayne Haskins we got um Mason Rudolph like I'd rather see what we have in Dwayne Haskins and Mason Rudolph first aside from wasting another draft pick on another QB because the last couple of mid-round quarterback selections that Pittsburgh has picked up haven't really worked out all that much so Kevin Colbert Mike Tomlin 
do Steeler Nation a favor. Please don't draft another quarterback this year. I could do, okay, if it's a Kellen Mon or a Jamie Newman, okay, I could live with that. But please, I don't want another Kyle Travis. I don't want another, quote, quote, Big Ben 2.0 anymore. I, I'm just tired of it, all right? Stop trying to find the next Big Ben and just try to find the next franchise quarterback if you have to draft a QB, okay? Draft a QB that have some mobility. I don't need to be a burner. I don't need to be a Lamar Jackson anything. I just want a QB like a Kellen Mond or a Jamie Newman that can pick up a couple of yards if you need them to. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section down below. Would you be happy or upset if the Pittsburgh Steelers were to waste one of their draft picks drafting Kyle Trask? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.